Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Probably pretty good? Yes, it's a black screen. I know. I am aware. We're working on her. No. Oh. There. Do a little bit of that, just in case. Yeah, it looks like it's working now. So what's happening? Are we getting excited for our uh, Halloween that's coming up? Unfortunately, not not so much for me, because uh, obviously <laughs> don't really do a ton of ton of stuff these days. But never really did Halloween. But I do love. The fall, a little bit of, I mean, it's not winter, don't get me wrong, but it's just, I don't know, it's a fun season, right? Fun things happening. This is called Inscription. It's kind of like, um, it's like a card game, I think I, I don't know, just clicking around, I kind of got some vibes, like maybe Slay the Spire-ish, kind of looked like it had uh, like a map or something. Uh, that that's like forked past, but it's kind of got like a horror feel to it or something. I don't know. I like card games. It's just myself tonight, so. Uh, and it is a demo. Daniel Mullen. Hmm. Okay. Very new groundsy. Oh. Okay, I like voice acting. Wasn't expecting this. Um, full game comes out in the nineteenth, I think. So, might be something we look into. Oh, uh, this is fun. I like stuff that looks like old games. Oh, can't new game. Oh, do I have to drag that in? Huh. Dialogue text, that's fine. Oh, I can turn flicker and screen shaking off and on. Interesting. Yeah, this menu's quite nice. It seems good. I don't know if the audio is like too high, too low, but it seems fine to me. Spoopy Slay the Spire. That was the impression I got, Fox. It is a demo. Um, but we know I like card games, so if if it ends up kinda kinda jiving, maybe we'll pick it up. It'd be cool. Comes out in like two weeks, I think. It's kind of cool. Uh, so I haven't played this before. I swear to God. Cannot click new game, but can click continue. So that's kind of that's kind of fun, right? <laughs> no, no, Fox. We're we're still in uh, Spooktober. Don't worry. Still very much trying to keep with the spooky vibe. I I love horror. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, yeah, yeah. Audio okay? Do I need to turn it down? Another challenger has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. It's possible. Allow me to remind you. Oh, now it's kind of just making me think of, um, play the squirrel card. Sure. But now it's kind of making me think of fucking, uh, oh my god, what was that 21 game mode in Resident Evil uh, 7? Because I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the, like, mercenaries mode in Resident Evil 7. Holy shit. Okay, it's... Never mind, actually. It's not like Slay the Spire. Looks kind of lane-based. This could be a Yu-Gi-Oh! Could be a Magix. What's this? Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, nice. Now play your Stoat. Stoat costs one blood. Sacrifices must be made. That's a fun mechanic. There's a 1-3. An honorable death. Play the Stoat. Undertale. 
Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn. Commence combat. Yeah, is, is the audio okay? Do I have to mess with it? Yeah, la sorry, lane. Lane based. Like, it looks like there's four like lanes here. Um, so, like, he's defending this one, and if an enemy puts something here, I have to put something here to fight it. That's what it looks like in here. We'll see. Your stoat stands unopposed. Number on the bottom left is his attack power one. Yeah, that makes sense. He fucked up, but they put it on the bottom right. Stoat dealt me one damage. I added to the scale. Okay. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Okay. My turn. But how many do I need? Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. Ouch. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. Okay, so things attack the turn they come out. Kind of interesting. That means your stoat's health is two less. Coyote seems way more powerful than the stoat, but... Creature's health reaches zero, it dies. Your turn again. You may draw from the deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Um, I guess, yeah, from the squirrel pile. How dull. Oh, I need two of these guys to make a wolf. That's all. I mean, it's two sacrifices. So I could drop this guy. It, it makes more sense for the stoat to kill the coyote first. And then summon the wolf with full health. Oh. Weird. You know, you can play more than one card per turn, right? As you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel. A squirrel, please. Now we can do this. And then if these units start getting damaged, we can like heal one, essentially. Like we can resummon another wolf. Four damage dealt, four weights on the scale. You've won this match. It won't all be so easy. I'm sorry. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. See, this is why I thought it was Slay the Spire. <laughs> you were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The Caustic Adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Oh. Or the undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Oh, that's pretty fun, too. Like a, like an economy card? Or an assassin? Oh, the adder takes two to summon, though. So we'll take the cat. If the adder took one, I probably would have taken it. it seemed very good. Another creature joins her caravan. Kitty kind of fun. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. Come across an abandoned sack. Found a scroll in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. That's fun. And a second. Another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Ah. Uh, I think like we snip off a finger. Oh, it's not a snipper, it's a plier. I don't know. Never mind. I was going to say snip off a finger. Like uh, Resident Evil. We'll see. Three is as much as you can carry. Okay, so our inventory holds three. You're ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Okay. You didn't sacrifice me. How cut? What the fuck? Play along for now. Uh, okay. That's kind of fun. You may now see my moves ahead of time. 
Okay. So he's putting a wolf cub here. It's a fledgling. In one turn, it turns into a more powerful version. Seems like a very good card too, actually. I wouldn't mind that one. Okay, well, let's get our squirrel out. And then we'll sacrifice him for a cat. Put our cat down. Oh my god! And then, sacrifice the cat. And put down... Um, Stoat? Maybe here? It's way safer to put it here. But then I have to break this stump before I do anything. Oh, put him here. Here we go. Okay, that, that felt pretty good. You cannot draw a card in your first turn. Oh, uh, that makes sense. This would have been a really good spot for the um, turtle. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Um, so probably... If we do a squirrel, we can put our river snapper down. What's his damage? Okay, he just has six health. Oh, fuck. Stoat's gonna die. Uh, maybe we go for a wolf. Okay. Hmm. Airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oh, that's super annoying. Ah, my bat flew right over your stoat. Okay, I'll drop a squirrel. Now. Get our wolf going. The cat's pretty fun. The only problem with cat is I guess he's really hard to replace. Okay, we'll get a squirrel. And sacrifice you and the squirrel for our river I, I like getting the cat. Doing, doing a pretty good job. Um, I guess we'll take our last card. Nice. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. This kind of reminds me of like Pony Island or something. Getting that kind of a vibe. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. This seems really strong. Or... The Meek Sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Flying is kind of fun. A little, little flying. Stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You're compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. And they'll be lost forever. Cat or sparrow? I mean, I like cat. <laughs> cat feels very good. Goodbye. <laughs> you looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy ho- <laughs> pick me. Actually, I just noticed he's like alive, alive. Like he's always moving. Okay. I wonder if it just adds their stats. <laughs> what an honor. Oh, it makes them flying! Oh, that would have been really good on a wolf. But that's okay. A ghastly spectacle. But the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. Oh, he's cool. Oh, fuck. Hold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Okay, that's interesting. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Interesting. 
So what does it... Oh, it gives them all flying, eh? I see, yeah, because you can see it on the thing. Uh, this might be hard. I haven't forgotten about those items. I'm just not sure I need them yet. Back on the board. So, can because he's flying, can I hit the flying? We'll find out. No, okay, he doesn't. He attacks directly. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Yeah, I see that. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, it hurts. Cat? Okay, cat's cool. Let's use our squirrel in a bottle. Get a kitty down. I almost feel like right play is... Get another wolf out. Because otherwise we are gonna get wrecked. Unless he kills the bat this turn. Like defensively, like do I hit the bat or do I attack under the bat? We could always do this thing. I, I don't know how many until we lose is the problem. Oh. Mighty Leap. Hey, that's pretty cool. So we need Mighty Leap to stop flying card. Okay, so there's a, there's a, a bunch of... Oh, neat. Wow. Okay. Can we try this? I think maybe. Because we're at... Uh, what do you think? 10? 10 is lose? Because we're at 4. And we're about to be at 8, but then maybe not. I think we can get away without it. Right? One more turn? We'll see. Okay. What did I lose? Okay, I lost. Okay, so I'm not I'm not sure what the different was there. Maybe five. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the t table. Really? Fetch me the candlestick from the top of the barrel beside the door. Whoa! What? Oh, this is fun. Feels like we're going to be able to do some funky stuff. Can't use that right now. I love how you can't really see him. Okay, map. Feels like you have some degree over turning that. Maybe not really. So that was his totem? wonder if he can destroy his totems. Oh, interesting. This looks really good. Oh, I want the knife. Right, not while he's watching us is the idea, right? Oh, what's going on here? Bring it here. Think about it. He's pretty chill with me just fucking around. Okay, little guy. Oh, those must be pieces for the game, right? This is weird. Oh, I'm excited for, like, messing around with this kind of stuff. Oh, he wants it over here. Sure. I'll sit back down. Sure. 
Let me explain something to you. Oh, fuck. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Oh, jeez, really? Okay, wow. The conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. I like him. Adder's cool. The reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of an enemy. So if you attack him, you're at minus one power. Uh, no, I don't... Raven, I think maybe I like. Adder seems very good, though. I think Adder. So that lets us put... Um, Was this the, the sacrifice altar? That could be pretty good, right? Yeah. Because if we can put poison on the river snapper... Oh, baby. Yeah, that seems redonkulous. Now that turtle just one-shots everything. What's this? There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I'll tear you to shreds. Okay. A grand fur. Okay, so flying creatures can't fly over it. But it kind of screws us, right? Because we are missing... Wow, that grizzly. Four damage, six health. Uh, we probably, we hold off on Stoat and next turn we River Snapper it? Or do we get scared? Well, actually, no, there's no point in river snapping now. Well, it'll block the four damage. Hmm. That's interesting. Four damage pretty chunky. It looks like five and we lose, right? I feel like killing the grizzly is going to be huge. Yeah. I think that's the play. Uh, it's definitely going to be squirrel. So it's interesting when you attack, um, they don't hit back. Oh, it's hoping for a cat. Sure? Yeah, I'm sure, man. You're good. I can sacrifice you for a wolf if I need to. That's all he had, eh? Okay. 
We don't know what the fire does, so let's check her out. Sparrow, skunk, or cat? What's this? A little mushroom? Kind of weird. Uh, well, I don't need another cat. Skunk, uh, we do need more jump block cards, I think. So. Because the problem with cat is, well, actually, cat's a pretty good jump blocker, too, right? But the sort of one problem with cat is I don't have a way of removing them. It's like you have to wait for the enemy to do it. Try skunk. Came across a small group of survivors. Hey, these are the guys we saw. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come. Warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Or by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. Notice a group of survivors wiping drool from their mouths. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it'd be nice to make him more powerful because he's flying. Uh, making skunk better is also kind of funky fresh because... Like, skunk jump blocks, but then he doesn't do anything, so he's kind of useless. Who would do skunk? I think that's probably a good play. Yeah, one attack. Okay. Fire warm the poor skunk, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Not a word, you pulled the skunk away from the fire and left. I assume it's going to be a hard fight. Huh? Oh, what the fuck? This is cool. The dream seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Oh, boss fight. Yee-haw! T'was the prospector. He's great. Okay, so the boulder kind of fucks us, right? Because this is like a spot we can never attack from. Until they kill it. So they have a pack mule and a coyote. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we start with squirrel, which is. Gr what was he doing? At the end of his turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed. So will he push the coyote? Not sure. He doesn't do any damage, so. Probably want to put a cat here then? Oh, he's got something under him. Okay, skunk is good. Skunk is a great little chump blocker and he'll take this guy out. Wolf cub we're a little worried about. A mole. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Ah, cool. So he's like a wall that moves around. Yeah, wolf cub, gonna be annoying. Um... <laughs> he's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's the key. I see he's got something going down there, but... Okay. I wonder if you can sacrifice the boulder. Doesn't look like, but... Okay, we got, we got some wolves coming. <laughs> Not great. Okay, there's our River Snapper. And we're gonna throw a River Snapper down here. Okay, 
We got some plays. So I'm up right now, so I'm going to put the wolf here and kill the mole. I think that was... oh fuck. Okay. That was three damage. Scary, but not like, you know. Okay, well, we have to win with what we got, sadly. Which, it should be fine. Ah, whoa! Dang, damn it, my mule! Well, we didn't win quite yet, but it's almost there. Bullfrog. Okay, so he can block air. That's cool. What if I can get to keep these? Like after. Oh, we'll find out. Getting a lot of value out of the cat, though. Hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Oh, I really did. There's gold in them cards! Oh, I legit thought that was the end. What the fuck? There's something opening. Um. Ow. Oh god. G -g gold, I've struck gold. Oh fuck, we are screwed. Bloodhound. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, card bearing the sigil will move. Okay. Another kind of wall sort of thing. Get him! Yeah, we are sort of fucked. Yeah, how about that bitch? Any more sacrifices, it's fine. All right. Adder could be a problem. <laughs> I don't really have other options here. Adder's definitely a problem. We have to chump block with squirrels. battle has taken a toll on you. Supply new creatures was exhausted. Starvation began to set in. Oh, fuck off. Um. If I wanna... Oh. Fuck. Well earned point of damage. Didn't think he'd really do it. Bitch. Okay, thank god we ripped that tooth out. <laughs> hoo hoo. Remember card's full. It was a strange feeling. Oh. Oh, the game just closed. I assume that was like intentional, but ding. Well, let's see. Maybe just crash is starting up. No, she's going.
Trees seemed to close in around you as the chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal and stone. Hobbled figures stood in your path. Yeehaw! It was a prospect! Really? Oh, is it really just the same fight? does let me... Well, that kills the pack meal, but it doesn't kill the wolf. It's gonna be coming after the pack meal. Yeah, this is probably the right play. Oh, nice! So he doesn't come down if the pack meal blocks him. That's really funky. We could, yeah, we don't need the skunk yet. Uh, I'd rather not lose my cat. He's doing the rash banger. I forget, can he attack my stoat? No, right? Probably not really where I want the stoat, mind you. But... So I'm killing you and you. He's gonna come down and kill Cat. We can throw a stoat here for a little aggro, yeah. Hey, damn it, my mule! Was that enough? No. Ow. Rip stoat, I'm sorry. Right, this is my power skunk. We gotta kill the wolf cub, that's number one. Okay, fuck. I didn't even need to play the bullfrog. But the good thing is we got to keep our, uh, our super snapper. Interesting, he didn't do the- oh, because I didn't have a card there. That's kind of funky. Okay, so let's go Squirrel. And Skunk. The Skunk will take a hit and kill this guy in his second turn. Get him! He's fine. Um, and we will throw our second skunk here. He's just chump blocking. That's all he's doing. Cause 
Because if we're blocking this lane, nothing else happening to it, which is kind of nice. So this one... That's the play. Okay, bad boy snake coming in. We're ready for him. So we're just going to take this hit here. It's gonna even out essentially, uh, but then we'll summon our other. Um... Yeah. Get you there. Battle's taking a toll on me. Starvation. All the bullshit. Oh, that fucking starvation is horse shit. Let's try one of these again. Hey! Card's full again. It's a strange feeling. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's the end of the demo. It's super cool, actually. Um, just you know, unfortunate there's not more. Right? Like I kind of wanted to play around with a few new like mechanics or like explore a little more of his uh his um like a little haunted house. I guess what we do is let's open it back up and try a uh, dying. And just seeing what like the death is. And then maybe we'll call it there for today. You know, we came, we saw, we kicked some ass, tried. Gives me a very loop hero vibes, which I'd be down to play again. I really enjoyed loop hero. I hope they add like an expansion pack at some point or like a DLC, whatever you want to call it. Which is some new cards. Um, not that I think I found all the cards, but, you know, we were running low. Okay, so we're just going to pass. Like, we're just going to let this guy win. if you lose more gold for me nice that's fun oh okay we finally got to go through that door you aren't dead yet this isn't purgatory they may think of it that way before you expire I must ask you a favor I would like a memento. Oh, that's super fun. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We'll work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. There's some cards from your mediocre deck. Put them to good use. There's a card to draw the cost from. Cost of two blood from the wolf. Another, this time we'll use the power and health. One power and three health from the skunk. 
Now choose a card with which we will extract the sigils. Sigil of many lives from the cat. I did ask you your name. There's now but one final matter. The portrait. Oh, that's super fun. Are you ready? You do not need the smile. That's a super fun game over. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it's time. Perhaps you can understand bones. Whoa, hang on, there's more now. A resourceful opossum costs two bones. Get a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Oh, including sacrifices, I assume. Uh oh. And a new enemy, a rattler. Alter deck. Okay, looks like there might be some cool stuff coming up with this one. Either way, folks, I know it was a bit short tonight, but super late. Um, so we'll take off, and then tomorrow we'll get some new cool horror games in. Not sure if Kaylin will be back or not. I'm not sure what she's feeling. Uh, she was a little under the weather today, so maybe not. But um, yeah, we'll see you then.